Just in the past few hours, the first flights parked at Orlando International Airport's brand new Terminal C. The airport has been getting ready for this day for years, building the latest technology into the nearly $3 billion terminal to relieve the crowds at the older terminals and make the trip through the new terminal smoother and faster. So how is it all going? News 6's Eric Van Inken is there live talking with passengers tonight. Eric, what are they saying? Uh, well, Lisa, I should tell you, it, it appears uh, quite obviously they're still working out the kinks right now. It seems like the fire alarm is going off. Here's one of the fire alarms. All these lights just started flashing about 45 seconds ago. They're making announcements. I don't think they're calling for an evacuation from what it sounds like, something about they're looking into what the situation is. So I may have to depart shortly if this turns into something. But the short of it is, for the most part, so far, so good. So over there is a check-in line for Goal Airways, so that is the low-cost carrier for Brazil. And then over here is the check-in counter for Aer Lingus. They are the flag carrier for Ireland. And you see this whole area here, you see all these kiosks. They are empty because of the, those are the only two airlines that are operating right now. The rest of the international carriers move in later this week. And then next week on the 27th is when JetBlue shows up here and they're going to take over most of the 15 new gates here. The first flight landed this afternoon just after 3 o'clock here. That was from Manchester. The first flight is leaving Terminal C right around now. That is headed back to Manchester. You're looking at the TSA screening area. This is supposed to be new and improved. The baggage handling area is supposed to be new and improved as well. What are passengers saying? Well, they say that this seems to put this airport here in Orlando on par with a lot of the other international airports. Awesome. Beautiful, clean, new. It's great for people to, to follow. It's easy to walk through. Uh, it's awesome. Compared to Dublin now, it's, it's a lot easier. This place is just so much more organized. It's much more easier to get to. Everything is just like spacious and clean and you know where you're going, you know? No crazy people running after you. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes a good impression. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. So speaking of some of the kinks that have yet to be worked out, a few passengers headed to Aer Lingus over here were quite upset because they had a rental car. They tell us that they drove here to Terminal C to try and return that rental car. They say they believe the signs directed them here, but you cannot return your rental car here to Terminal C. You have to do it over at Terminals A and B. So they found their way back over there. They had to take the monorail back over here, and finally they ended up after a lot of walking back here. And as you see, the fire alarm still going on. So, yeah, <laughs> a few kinks. We'll be here for a while. We're now at the Orlando International Airport at Terminal C. Eric Von Aiken getting results new six. I would say that's a kink is a nice way to put it. Eric Von Aiken, thank you so much.